everyone, it's Andy. Today I'm posting a video of the lesson that I had today. My one last week got cancelled if you watched my last video. Mia actually threw a shoe. Um, so today my lesson was on Mia, and this is a horse that I've never ridden before, so I was really excited that we got around to jumping, because you never know how you're going to match with a new horse that you've never ridden before, and you never know what kind of a mood they're in. So a couple things, I have not ridden a bunch. I only get to ride once a month until I get my own horse next year. So please don't be too judgmental. I am really out of shape and my form is not fantastic. Also, some things to know about Mia. She is really great. She's very sensitive. Um, there's this thing she does where if you do a downward transition or you say whoa by accident, she'll stop completely, almost to a halt, and very quickly as well. And so we're working on that a lot in this lesson, keeping her forward during transition. So you'll see a bunch of video parts where she is swishing and looks like she's kind of stopping or will stop and it'll be really dramatic and then we push her forward. So just know she's really sensitive and I have only, this is the only time I've ever ridden her, so I'm still figuring her out. Also, she expects to halt after each jump, so that was also an issue that we worked on today and she actually did really well. I was really proud of our last course that we did today. So what we're going to be working on coming up here is that her right side is much stiffer and even last week I saw it on the lunge line and so we're going to be doing smaller and smaller circles in this corner here. She's really hard coming out of the corner. She likes to be very straight. She doesn't like to bend very much and so this was actually a good exercise for me too. My hands tend to drop on circles and by doing smaller and smaller circles I had to support her more with that outside rein and it became a little bit easier as we went on and we actually got quite a tiny circle there at the end and she was a lot more supple later in the lesson. I just want to give a little forewarning so to start off our jumping lesson we did some poles practice it was a four stride line um, we did not do very well I don't think we had a perfect round through there um, either we had one foot over and then it was fine or we were fine and then we were a little short um, so don't be too judgmental I'm still figuring out how to adjust her at this point and I'm just glad that she improved drastically once we got around to jumping, so bear with me.
these next two rounds, you'll notice we start with that little trot jump there. And that one actually wasn't too bad. The next round was pretty ugly. Mia also does not enjoy trot jumps, so we made sure that we did a decent handful of them today. And some were really great, and some were not so great. Um, I think this one coming up here is probably the ugliest of all of them. I just tried to sit there and let her figure it out. I'm not quite sure. I feel like she doesn't know what to do with her feet if she's not cantering, because a jump within, within a canter is within stride, and a trap jump doesn't really match the stride, so we tried our best.